Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sean. Sean. Okay. Sean from Thomas Jefferson. What's your question? It's a math question, as a matter of fact. Oh, you great. See, okay. So what's your question? I know question? how to figure out the probability of rolling a die. Okay. And I know how to figure out the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads. Okay. But I wanted to know, how do I figure out the probability of rolling a six on a die and flipping a head? Okay. Uh, okay, so when you said you know how to fig figure out the probability of rolling a, a, a dice, what would, um, how would you set that up? Or what would the probability of rolling a six on a dice be? It would be um, a fraction, the numerator being um, do, 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 say a one, uh -huh. and the denominator being the total number of possible outcomes. Yes, okay. So when you're talking about the total number of possible outcomes when we're talking about rolling a six on a, on a number cube, you get, it's one is, there's only one six on there, and then there are six total outcomes. So that would be the probability for the dice. And then when you're finding a probability of multiple events, the way that you do that is you multiply the two probabilities together. So uh -huh. we would multiply that together and then to find heads on, you said it was heads? I guess it doesn't really matter, but heads on a coin, it would be one out of two. So then the probability of doing both of those is gonna be one out of 12. Now the reason why that is because when you said that the denominator is the total number of outcomes, by, um, I'm gonna make a tree diagram on the left of the screen right now just so, um, so you can see. Uh, whenever you're rolling a dice, the possibility what you can do is you can roll a one, you can roll a two, you can roll a three, four, five, or six. Now, when, if you roll a one on the dice, you could also flip a coin and get heads or you could flip a coin and get tails. Same goes for if you rolled a two. You could get heads or you get tails. Same with a three, a four, a five, and a six. So essentially six times two because I could get one and a heads, a one and a tails, a two and a heads, a two and a tails, and so on. And so what this does is it means that there are 12 total possibilities and only one of those pos total possibilities is that rolling a six and getting a heads on, on um, the coin. Uh, uh, I see. So, um, yeah, but either way, anytime that you're finding the probability of two separate events, what you can do is multiply those two probabilities together and get you the probability of both of those things happening. So, probability would be 1 12. Okay. Did All that right. help an answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks for calling, Sean. We appreciate your call. I enjoyed calling myself. All right. Well, tell your friends, okay? I will. Thank you. Bye.